<laughs> John T for the Boxing Voice, and I'm delighted to be joined this evening by huge London cruiserweight prospect Stephen Adenton. How you doing, Stephen? I'm good. How you doing, mate? You good? I'm good. Really good, thanks, mate. What you been up to today? Sparring? Um, no, no. Today was actually more a bit of a rest day, so just, um, just chilling out. That's why I'm half, half awake right now. <laughs> yeah, like, That's why you got a big I'm smile on. You haven't yeah. been through the paces in the gym just now. Good stuff. Yeah, not, not, not today. Not today. Cool. Well, look, I've been looking forward to catching up with you. As, um, for the fans that wouldn't have seen you yet, welcome to the site. First time we've had you on. You've recently turned pro uh, and you've signed yeah. Frank Warren and Queensbury and you're due out on your debut live on TV in a couple of weeks. And I'll come on to that in a minute. But maybe you could yeah. share a little bit with us like, about your career so far in boxing, what got you into it, your amateur career and stuff like that, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Uh, where do you want me to start? What got you into the sport? What got me into the sport? Now, there's a, there's, a, there's a funny one. Okay, I would love to say, um, you know, <laughs> I'd love to say, oh, man, you know, I was, I was, I was uh, going through a hard time and I found boxing and it saved me and stuff. As much as, as, much as boxing really brought discipline and focus, um, the only re the reason why I actually started boxing was to try and lose weight. Fair and, enough reason. Yeah. It's a good enough reason, yeah, it definitely is. But I wasn't, uh, here's the funny bit, I wasn't so much overweight. It was more that I had a bit too much muscle. Because I, I, I started off, um, well, not started off at the time. I was um, I was a fashion model, believe it or not. <laughs> um, and I needed to, uh, I needed to basically slim down a little bit because I couldn't fit in the clothes. So I said, hey, let me, let me give boxing a go. Um, it will. I think it will help me get slimmer arms and stuff like that. It was the most stupid sort of, uh, the most stupid sort of any anyway, notion. But I started doing that, and then I realised how people's f sort of eyes or their demeanour would change when I hit them. Mm. You know, you get the you get the uh, coaches sort of saying, "Ah, oh, yeah, man, you're gonna be the next big thing, man. If you stick to it, you can go all the way." And I'm, I'm like, yeah. I believe it as well. And then five minutes later, you hear him saying it to the scrawny kid in the corner, and you're thinking, is he <laughs> talking rubbish? Um, but nah, when I when I started seeing sort of how people reacting and sparring, um, the reaction of different coaches when I when I do pads with them or train with them, then I started thinking I might have something here. And I just I really gave it a go and um and that's where I fell in love with it. Excellent. That's a great story. Yeah. And am I right in saying, moving slightly away from boxing, you've also yeah. done some stuff on TV or in programmes? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, um, the most recent one, um, I was... Uh, so I dabbled in acting a little bit. Um, I featured in a show called Noughts and Crosses on BBC One. Um, really, really cool um, series, actually. Um, I played a guy called Talib which happened to be this big brute in prison who would fight someone in a prison cell and all that. Um, but it was really cool. I really, really enjoyed it. And like, I love that sort of thing, you know, with the arts and um, acting and stuff. I think it's really, really dope. It's a lot more than just reading offline. You know, it's really tapping into a different kind of, different kind of consciousness without sounding so, uh, so weird. But yeah, it's really dope and I enjoyed it. Um, I've done a couple other things here and there, but, yeah, that's really good. Cool. And am I right in saying uh, when I say you've been associated? I don't know if you've advertised for them, but I think Aston Martin, um, Super Dry. There was a couple of those. You've done homework. Right? <laughs> you've done, yeah, Aston Martin was dope. Um, so I shot that, shot that advert with um, a well-known sort of photographer artist called Nick Knight. Um, yeah. And I was like, hey, listen, can you? do some boxing in front of camera for this client, so on and so forth. And it was uh, specifically for the Aston Martin Super Lager DB9. Um, and it was really, really dope. It was so fun. Everyone was cool on set and stuff. And the funniest thing is, we went. I went, got invited to the launch of the Aston Martin and you um, had all of these really important people in the room. Everyone looked like they were on a salary of a million, million pounds up. Nice. Um, and people were sort of looking, it's so funny, people were sort of looking at me like, who is this guy and why is he here? Do you know what I mean? Is he some sort of athlete or what is it? Then they did the whole massive reveal 
and um, everything went dark and then you just saw the boxing come up on a screen done really artistically filmed by Nick Knight. <laughs> and like, there was a guy in front of me and he was like, he's watching, he just went. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. And there's a massive, it was so funny. Naturally, there's a massive queue after, hey man, hey man, can we get a picture? And I thought oh, everyone just appreciated the art, maybe it looked cool. And then I heard someone whisper to their, uh, their wife, Anthony Joshua, we're gonna take a picture of Anthony Joshua. <laughs> oh dear. I was, like, I was like, yeah, that's not me. But um, yeah, no, yeah. That's be a compliment, from, um, no, the ladies definitely love Joshua, mate. So I'd take that. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, but I was I was like, I don't even look like him, but it's like it was all good. But yeah, all that kind of stuff, it was fun, man. Done some stuff with Nikes with Super Dry, like that was the kind of stuff I was involved in before. Um, but it's just right now, or I have been anyway, it's just knuckles down, head in deep in boxing. Do you know what I mean? And everything else either has to take a back seat or be pushed to the side. This this has to take all my attention now. So that's where I'm at. That's very grounded uh, and a good way of looking at it. And to be fair, if you've just gone pro now and you know that to think like that, that actually if boxing's first, that other stuff might come later. Who knows? In your life, especially yeah. if your boxing career kicks off and you make a name for yourself from that bit going back into the yeah. advertisement. So, right, you, you, I can see on your T-shirt as well, I've done my research, you come out of the famous Reptum gin. So are, oh, you, Reptum, East, yeah. are you an East London boy or? I didn't even know I had this T-shirt. <laughs> <I didn't even laughs> good gym though. Where, where um, from East yeah. London? Um, I'm South East London, South East London slash Kent. So I'm actually from an area called Bexley. Yeah, Bexley. Um, yeah, no, cool. Um, um, and then, yeah. And am I right in saying, you, you mentioned AJ just now, but you, you've sparred with AJ and you're very close friends and spar with Vakoli, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Vakoli's one of my best mates. Um, AJ's a good pal as well. Um, he called me to do some rounds uh, last month. Um, so that was amazing, man. That was dope. So even both of them, great experiences. And ha- that, that is great experience. Just considering you haven't even gone pro yet and you're already in with these kind of people. I mean, one is a, yeah. a highly decorated world champion in Joshua and the other one, Akoli, I'll come on to in a minute. I'm sure you'll agree with me and the fans that we hope he, he comes through in a couple of weeks and be the same. But what yeah. how did you fare in the sparring? I, I, and I know sparring, sparring. I don't expect you to say, oh, this, but did, did you do well considering their experience? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I mean, I've me and Lawrence have been sparring since... Like, we, we've been friends since I started in Repton. And it was funny. Another big guy comes in, oh, he's a cruiserweight and all that kind of stuff. And Lawrence was a little bit ahead of me in boxing. So the first spy that we had, he, he, uh, he actually got told to teach me a lesson. I was like, okay, well, there's a baptism by fire there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but we became, you know, really, really cool. And we're very, very good mates now. So any way I can help him out. I always do if I become inspiring, I always will. Um with AJ it was it was a it was dope, man, because not only learning from him, but obviously his coaches are world class, mm-hmm. what they pick up on, what we drill, so on and so forth. Um and what was great about it was, you know, if I was terrible, they just would be, yep, yeah, cheers, mate. Good luck with everything. Do you know what I mean? But it was always you know, make sure you come back. We're back in Wednesday. Okay, cool. Make sure you come in Friday. We'll do some more Friday. You're around next week. Um, and, you know, like, I I was really happy with how I did. They were really happy with how I was doing. We was learning and in leaps and bounds. I learned so much while I was there, up, up there with him. Um, and, you know, if I, if, I, if I didn't have my sort of own career and own path to follow and learn from, I would, you know, so, something like it's like it's like being in a in a camp with a prime Lennox Lewis or a prime Klitschko. You would, I was there, and I was just watching every single thing that happened and taking mental notes of this is how he's learning, this is how he progresses, this is how he's propelled himself forward so well by building these habits. I need to then implement that myself. You know what I mean? And then obviously, when it comes to sort of getting in the ring. There's an element of of doing what you've learned and what you've been taught. And also, hey, there's a little bit of a chance to make a bit of a name for yourself here. Do you know what I mean? Um, I wasn't coming in with no haymakers or anything like that, but 
um i was uh i was yeah it was it was definitely a great experience man i was i'm really grateful for it i'm sure we're gonna do it again soon so well, that was my next point. I was going to say, do you know what? What fantastic contacts to have. You're all London lads as well. I'm, I was going to say, don't yeah. go in too hard on them or they might not keep inviting you back. But Imagine, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they always say that you win matches in sparring in the camp beforehand. If you're constantly sparring the likes of Akoli and Joshua, um, when you're yeah. up the levels in the fights, that will just put you in good stead. And just as much so, as you say, being around AJ and everything that that brings with the, the media and the circus and stuff, it must be very uh, interesting and good learning for you. How tall are you, Steve? Even. I'm six foot six. I did read that. So six foot six. You said that your coach has said you can bang. Do you make cruiserweight easy, or will that be hard for you? Because that's yeah, difficult. it's not. It's not even okay. So I, I'm I make it quite easy. Um, and then the sort of pandemic happened, and I was like, I balloon. Well, not balloon, but I went up to about a hundred and something kilos. Yeah. And I was like, start training. It will come off. And I was training and I started to get a little bit trim. I was like, yeah, let me step on the scale. And it still said 102. I said, all right, train a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Ah, sweat, all that kind of stuff. Stepped on the scale again, 100. I was like, I might have a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, thank God it started coming down now. Um, and now it's just, you know, it's, 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 cut, it's coming off the way it used to. Um, and it's 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 pretty easy for me to be fair. And I think uh, I think I'm a little bit of an anomaly. I'm not really sure why, but it's it just seems to happen. So I'm I'm grateful for that. I'm not complaining. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I can make weight easy, then that's a good thing, and stay strong as well. Wait till you get to my age, mate, and you're the other side of forty. You have to starve yourself three <laughs> days to drop a pound. So, oh. but look, all joking aside, if you make cruiserweight at six foot six and you do look, your physique is very good. You will pack power, and I'm sure there'll be lots of cruiserweights out there trying to swerve and avoid you. So let's move on to your fight. Um, your first yeah. fight, real vote of confidence um, from Frank Warren. Not only has he signed you, he's putting you out on a live TV show for your debut. That doesn't happen lots. Yeah. How does that feel for you? You're nervous. You're looking forward to it. No, it feels great, man. Because um, you know, I've I'm I'm really training hard. You know what I mean. And I have, if I don't have, com I have confidence in general. But if I didn't have confidence in general, I have confidence in my training. I'm I'm running more than I ever have done. I'm I'm stronger in my legs when I'm running. I'm running further. Um, you know, I'm I'm performing well and, and improving every week in the gym. Um, and there's, you know, there's, I'm having some tough spars, man. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, and sometimes I perform amazing and I'm, I feel on top of the world. Sometimes I perform not as great. And the main thing, something, it's almost like sort of graphs and stocks. It's never really a straight line up. It's like, it's sort of like that. Do you know what I mean? And as long as I'm, I always try and remind myself and tell everyone else, incremental gains, if I can add, half a percent this week if i can add one percent this week it will add up it's all about the small small steps up the ladder do you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so i never i don't treat it as hey i'm having a good camp for this first fight and it's going to be great i'm having a i'm i'm starting my training or starting my quote-unquote camp for when i'm fighting for the british title for when i'm fighting for a world title eliminator for when i'm fighting for a world title it all started you know, now, mm -hmm. this is what I'm training for. And then uh, the fights are, are really for where I can demonstrate my skills and try new things and then be presented with certain circumstances. So I'm like, okay, I've covered this in training. Let's see how I deal with it. Or, okay, didn't see that coming. Hey, coach, can we look at this in training? I don't want to come across that again. Um, and that's the process. I'm very, very locked on with that. Um, it was actually AJ that told me that you're not training for your next fight, you're training for your world title in a couple of years. I didn't understand it straight away at first, and then I understood it, and I said, you're absolutely right. So um, I'm really grateful for him, and I'm, I'm happy that um, Frank Warren um, and the uh, Queensbury team have that faith in me, and I'm, I'm excited to really, really get the ball rolling. Um, yeah, bit, and start putting bit, on people, bit you know what I mean? Bit gutting, there won't be any fans there, but I'm sure you'll be back yeah. out quite shortly after, and we're probably a few months away before we do start getting fans at a Yeah, I think how, so as well. Yeah, how old are you, Stephen? I'm 29. 
Yeah, I'd read that as well. So, look, as I said, I'm 41, so you're definitely not old. But in boxing terms of turning pro, that is late yeah. in life. Is there yeah. a thought process from Frank Warren or whoever you're speaking to around maybe trying to fast track you? Clearly, we don't want to get you a run before you can walk because you haven't had your first fight yeah. yet. But I'd imagine yeah. you want to move quite quickly. Is that right? Um, well, I want to I want to, I want to fight as much as I can. I want to be really, really busy. Um, and then... I want, I want to, so for example, you've got my Lawrence, right? He's, I believe this is either 15th or 16th fight right now and he's fighting for a world title. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm around the likes of Lawrence, around the Josh Barazzi, around AJ. Like, these people, again, they were at the top of their game in the amateurs, okay? But they, they had their challenges. They were brought on well as professionals and took on challenges, but challenges they felt that, hey, this is the correct road for me to take and improve and improve and improve. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't have as much experience um, as, as, as them in terms of amateur pedigree. So it's, it'll be, I think it'll be extremely tempting to say, hey, this guy's knocking him out, knocking him out, knocking him out. British title, let's go. It's all right, let's, let's put him in different situations and help him to learn from these situations. So um, I'm definitely not interested in sort of, uh, you know, fighting 20 fights of nobodies. I don't think that is, you know, beneficial for me and my career. I don't think the fans really like that stuff either. Mm. Um, and I don't think they're interested in that either. Um, however, it's very, very important to take me through this learning process of the professional game and build the blocks on top, on top, on top. And then, you know, I'm sure my coach will say, Steve Broughton, or I will turn around and say it, Frank will say, say, listen, I think we can go for this big shark here. Let's make it happen. I mean, I'm in the best, one of the best hands in the history of boxing with, with Frank Warren, do you know what I mean? And if they really believe in me, which they do, um, they will, they will, guide me in the best way possible to reach my highest potential which for me is obviously world title and world title unification I've seen it with my friends and that's where I want to go to they've set a roadmap so all I've got to do is hop in a car and drive down that road as well hopefully you know what I mean it's that easy but uh, yeah that's the idea Good stuff. Well, look, before your fights, so before I let you go, your fights in a couple of weeks, the week before there's the huge card with Akoli. So I'll ask you the obvious yeah. question. I assume you think Akoli's going to go and win that title? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, he's he's training freaking hard, man. I personally think that the fact Glowacki, um, he got COVID-19 and that fight had to be called off in December. Mm -hmm. I think he... He that was probably the best thing that could have happened to him, and he dodged the massive bullet because what he saw, uh, what uh, Akoli done to Jazuski, I think the guy's name was mm -hmm. Glowacki, would have seen that, um, and said, Let's have a proper training camp, let's get serious sparring partners in, let's take this more <laughs> for what it is, you know what I mean? But a lot of people underestimate Akoli until you've been in the ring with him, you will understand exactly what's in front of you and what he can do and how hard it is to actually get him and stuff. So he packs a serious punch as well. So, um, you know, I'm excited for him. I'm really, really excited for him. And I have all the confidence in the world that he's going to do what he needs to do and do it in a good fashion as well. Britain could do with another world champion. So uh, good luck to Lawrence. And I'm sure we'll come through on the night. Just quickly, while we're on that card, uh, yeah. another 50-50 one at your weight. That's why I mentioned it. I think you've got Dion Juma on there against Chris Bullum smith more around like British Commonwealth kind of level. Do you follow them yeah. at all? Who do you think would win that? Uh, is that? Is that happening? Is that, are they fighting? Yeah, I think it's on the cards. Chief support. Unless something's changed the last couple of days. Okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I know there was uh, Dion had some stuff going on with his eye and that. Um, yeah, look, Chris is Chris is one of the boys up at um, Shane McQuiggan's gym. I like Chris, really, really cool guy. Talented, sharp, crisp. Um, Shane has, you know, the utmost confidence in him as well. And, you know, nothing against Dion. I've, I've sort of seen him around. I know he's a, he's a decorated amateur and stuff, and I'm sure he's great as well. So I think that'll be great to watch, great to learn from, great for the fans. I think it'll be an amazing fight. Um, to call it, 
I think Chris might edge it. However, you know, I haven't seen exactly what Dion has in his locker. So um, it'll be really interesting to see. You know what I mean? It'll be interesting to see, but I would, I would, I would throw sort of my penny over the line with, with Chris. I think it's a great fight in terms of what you just mentioned there. Chris probably got that little bit more experience at a high level, but Dion's undefeated and he, he's got yeah, that. Yeah. He's one of them. And you big fellas, as you know, if you land, it's good night. Exactly. Well, That's the thing with this uh, weight division. Definite. Look, well, I've really enjoyed this. Great chat tonight, mate. And um, I hope that yeah. uh, we get to see you like after your first fight, maybe get a win under your belt and then we'll pop down the gym and see you doing a bit of... I'm sure we will, time. yeah. All right, bud. Sure Thanks for Good luck. Cheers. All right, take care. Thank you. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.